next is nerve muscle physiology let's begin with classification of nerve fibers right there are three main categories of nerve a b and c a has four subtypes alpha beta gamma and delta now look as you move from left to right myelination decreases a and b are myelinated hence thick and myelination prevents the current from leaking out therefore they are fast c is unmyelinated hence thin and is also slow right this one is the classification of nerve fiber according to susceptibility to hypoxia, pressure and anesthesia. Hypa on the left, hypoxia, pressure and anesthesia. And you'll notice B, A, C on the right, back on the right, back on the right, right? So which one is the most susceptible to hypoxia? Is the B, most susceptible to pressure, A, most susceptible to anesthesia is C. Right, so remember hyper on the left, back on the right. Here are some direct questions. Slowest conduction velocity, C fibers because they are unmyelinated. This question is awesome. It says, a man paralyzed his arm when he slept with one arm under his head. Right, that means they are talking about the pressure. Now which fiber was most susceptible to pressure? Hypa on the left and back on the right. Right? A fibers are more susceptible to the pressure than C fibers. This one is a true statement. Now moving on to the next, we have exon hillock and initial segment also called as IS. Right? Here is the area where the action potential begins. Now why it begins here? Because of two reasons. Because the threshold is low and we have high concentration of sodium channel in the exon hillock so you have two direct mcqs based on that which part has the highest, con highest concentration of sodium channel the initial segment or exon hillock and action potential is initiated there because of low threshold right up on the next we have let's say the terminal segment of the exon and we have the post synaptic membrane here right let's say the signal is coming and once the signal reaches the terminal segment it will activate the voltage gated calcium channel now once the calcium is inside it will drive the synaptic vesicle to fuse with the presynaptic membrane and release acetylcholine once acetylcholine is released it will bind to the postsynaptic nicotinic receptor remember these are ligand gated ion channels so that they can allow sodium to trickle in now once sodium is inside it will bring the resting membrane potential of the postsynaptic neuron toward little positive side right and this little positive resting membrane potential is called excitatory postsynaptic potential right epsp and this drives the other voltage gated sodium channel to open up so that more sodium can come in and this will lead to generation of an another ex action potential Right, so you have two direct MCQs based on this. Release of synaptic vesicle is inhibited by prevention of calcium influx because it was the calcium which was um, allowing the fusion of vesicle with the presynaptic membrane. EPSP can be produced by increase in sodium conduction. What do you mean by increase in sodium conductors? That means you are opening up the postsynaptic nicotinic receptor so that sodium can trickle in and you develop EPSP and which can in turn produce an action potential.